on all wagon tails units during the winter months. To prevent freeze damage to the vehicle, you will need to plug in your main shore cord to the vehicle, install a 1500 watt electric heater in the back utility area, plugged in to the outlet labeled rear plug. That will be set on its highest, hottest setting. You will then come into the grooming salon, turn on the propane water heater, and then you will turn on your propane furnace with the thermostat set at the lowest setting. You will then need to prop open the laundry chute door on the tub and secure it open with a bungee cord around the hose or a clamp under the door to allow the heat from an electric heater to transport the heat into the grooming salon. In the winter time when it's below 35 degrees, you want to remove the plug from the fresh water fill fitting so that water doesn't freeze behind it and prevent you from filling fresh water in your van. You will also remove the gray water drain cap and leave it off during the winter months. To pull the RV antifreeze from the two gallon holding tank into the system, you will first move the winterized lever from normal to winterize, and then the bypass lever from normal to bypass before you enter the grooming salon. After you've moved the winterized lever and the bypass lever into position in the back of the van, you will enter the grooming salon and turn on the optional tank heater switch. Once the switch is on, you will turn on your fresh water pump switch, your super sudzer pump switch, so that we can transfer the antifreeze from the holding tank into the plumbing system. You will move your temperature lever to the cold position, squeeze the fresh water spray handle until the water disappears and you see pink RV antifreeze appear. Once the pink RV antifreeze appears, we then have to transfer that into your super sudzer system to prevent freeze damage to that plumbing. You will squirt the pink antifreeze from the fresh water hose down the super sudzer drain while pulling the super sudzer spray handle. Once you see the pink antifreeze appear out of the super sudzer spray handle, you will let go of both spray handles, hang them up, turn off the temperature control lever, and then turn off your water pump switches for the night. To remove the antifreeze from the system in the morning, you will move the winterized lever from winterized to normal, but leave the bypass lever in the bypass position. Now that you moved your winterized lever back to normal in the morning to remove the antifreeze from the system, you will turn on the fresh water pump switch, but leave the super sudzer switch in the off position. You will then put the temperature lever on the tub to cold setting, and we are now going to squeeze the fresh water spray handle until the pink antifreeze disappears and you see clear water appear. Now that we have clear water running, we are able to move to the next step of moving the bypass lever back to normal. After running the fresh water in the grooming salon, you will then move the bypass lever from bypass back to normal. Now that your bypass lever is back in the normal position, we have to remove the antifreeze from the super sudzer plumbing. To do that, we will turn on the super sudzer switch We will spray the antifreeze from the super sudzer down the gray water drain. And then we will add fresh water from the fresh water spray handle into the super sudzer drain to finish removing the antifreeze from the super sudzer plumbing. Once you have clear water, running from the super sensor spray handle. The antifreeze has been removed and you're ready to go start your grooming day.